We're here outside of a client's home and the client has requested that we do air quality testing in a couple of the bedrooms because the children have mold allergies and she's concerned uh, about the air quality. So let's go inside. So we're now in the bedroom and we're going to be testing air quality in this room. This is the master bedroom and the homeowner has indicated that her children do have mold allergies and uh, they do react in this room. So we're going to be uh, investigating. So the first thing we're going to check again is the CO2, carbon dioxide and the uh, air temperature and the relative humidity. And we have a carbon dioxide level of about 820 right now, which would be normal uh, for uh, occupancy with several people or a couple people. And then we're going to check the uh, particle count in this room. We'll be comparing that to other rooms and also to the outdoors. So we'll be running uh, one sample here and then making a note of what that is, what those numbers are. So we're holding it, holding the particle counter apparently, uh, approximately breathing zone. And we'll make a record of that. And then we're going to walk around the room with the VOC meter and getting a reading on what the VOC levels are in the room. Uh, what's underneath this room is a crawl space and the crawl space has been sealed and uh, the ducts have been cleaned. So we're mostly looking at other factors now, but the crawl space has pretty much been eliminated as a source of mold since it has been remediated and uh, double checked. So we're checking the VOCs and we'll be walking around the room with that, making sure that that's normal. Another thing that the client wanted us to check is the actual ducting, the ducts. She has had those cleaned, so she wants to have an air sample and a swab. So in order to take an air sample of a duct, a specific duct like that, we can remove the grill and we're going to go ahead and just take our uh, normal tubing that we use for air sampling or wall cavity sampling. And we're going to introduce that into the duct and try to go as far as we can and we're going to do that while the uh, furnace is actually running so that there's airflow and then we're going to take a five minute sample in there so that sample will get analyzed by the lab and then we're going to do a swab and this is just just a normal swab we're going to go in there and just swab around the surface of the duct she just wants to make sure that uh, the mold counts are very low or actually nil. The other thing that we check in, uh, in a bedroom is going to be the closet. And in closets, we look for signs of moisture or condensation. A lot of times people have a lot in the closet, so there's not a lot of breathing room, not a lot of air circulation. And so that, that sometimes can result in some mold. So uh, just with a bright flashlight, we try to get, get in there and uh, maybe go around the clothes, look around the objects to see if we detect any sign. Uh, obviously, your inspection is going to be limited to how much uh, content is in the closet. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sample of the surface dust. And uh, this dresser here is a perfect surface. It has a little bit of dust that I can see on the surface. And I'm going to have this dust analyzed for number one, mold, and number two, for other particulates like fiberglass, soot, maybe from candles, or drywall dust, or things like that. So I'm going to use what's called a biotape here. And these uh, you buy by the dozen. And then there's uh, a little sticky area there that you use to uh, collect the dust. So I take this uh, cover off and then I'm going to pick a very dusty area so I can get a good sample. I'm going to lightly touch that surface and I've collected the dust and then now I'm going to put that back in the case. We'll mark the location on the label and then we'll be sending that to the lab. And finally the other thing I'm going to test is I want to test the vacuum cleaner. Some vacuum cleaners uh, even though they're called HEPA vacuum cleaners, 
they still have quite a bit of leakage and they cause pollution in the room in which they're used. So what we find is we'll take a particle count before vacuuming and then we'll take another particle count in the room after vacuuming and we find that there are a lot more particulates in the air after it's been vacuumed. That's because the vacuum has actually polluted the environment while it was being used. So the way that we test a vacuum cleaner is we're going to turn it on and we find out where the exhaust is. And the way you find that out is you just put your hand around while it's running and see if you can figure out where the air is coming out of. So this exhaust is right here. And I'm going to take a particle count right here. And I'm going to go ahead and read that and compare that to the particle count that I took earlier. Uh, also, that's going to tell me how much is coming out of the exhaust. So I'm getting a couple numbers. One is how much the vacuum is exhausting particle-wise. And then also, I can take another sample now. And now that I've run the vacuum, how many particles are in the air compared to before the vacuum was running. And then, so those numbers will be analyzed and that will tell me if the vacuum possibly is a culprit in putting out too many particles in the air. So the other test the client requested is a carpet dust test. Uh, the client is concerned that there may be mold in the carpeting. The child plays on the floor often and she wants to know what he is exposed to. Again, because of the mold allergies, that's a good piece of information for the homeowner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk on the carpeting gently, basically mimicking what might happen if a child is playing on the floor. There's going to be a little bit of aggressiveness here in the carpeting as the child is moving. It could actually be a lot more than this, but I'm going to do a pretty uh, gentle movement on the carpeting to gather some dust in there. I'm going to run this sample for about two minutes. And I'm attempting to get the dust out of the carpeting and into this cassette. After the two minutes, we're going to turn the pump off. And we're going to be submitting this to the lab for analysis. And we'll get a complete mold analysis for that cassette. The last thing that the customer has requested is a mycotoxin test and a DNA test, also called qPCR or uh, ERMI. And we're going to be collecting dust around the house and sending that to the appropriate labs for the mycotoxins and the DNA test.